Yo, ladies and gentlemen, what is happening? Welcome back once again to another video talking about my favourite game as of right now, Elden Ring. Absolutely amazing game. So today, guys, I just want to kind of give all the newer players, noobs like myself, I'm still a noob at this game. You know, just as a disclaimer there, I don't really know much about what I'm doing on this game, but I do know the best place I've come across right now as of where to farm for the runes, which is... Basically, the way that you level up on this game, your character. So, you're going to end up coming to a site of grace like so. And if you are that new, you don't really understand how to level up. You just go to one of these places, level up, and then you can choose whatever you want to level up. So, as you can see at the top, it says rooms needed 5,566. So, that's basically what I need to farm to get to the next level. So, let's talk about the farm location itself. It's not straightforward to get to, but, you, you know, it's um, pretty, pretty easy once you know how. So, you can see on the map, that is where I am right now. So, we're going to take you back to how we get to this place. So, this is pretty much the starting area around here. You know, you've got your cave of knowledge, um, your graveyard. You've got the church, you know, there where, where you come across the first area. So, that's just a reference point for everybody. So, you're going to go on the main road. So, this is pretty easy to follow this path. You're going to take a left, go all the way up here. And you're going to get to the third church. Now, once you're at the third church, I'm just going to show you how to do this from this exact location. Because it's pretty easy to get to this stage, but then you have to go and find a portal. So here we are at the third church. Um, we're going to bring up the minimap again. So we want to head down towards this lake down here. So you put a check marker down. Call your horse in, just a bit, bit quicker to get there. I'm assuming most of you have got your horse by now. If you haven't, you need to go and talk to uh, Melina. I think you pronounce her name that way. But you just come do the story. So you get to this area, there's a portal here. And then that portal is going to take you all the way across the map to what you saw me do earlier. So you can you have to get off your horse... Just going to show you exactly now where on the minimap you can see where I am, where this gate is. It actually, you know, says sending gate. I don't know if that's there um, until you've um, seen it. And then that's going to take us all the way over to the Bestial Sanctum. Oh, so here we go. Travel to another location. Yes, please. And then you're going to pretty much see where we was at the beginning of the video. So you're going to spawn in at this castle here. Um, there's a world boss behind you. You don't want to get involved with him because he'll just destroy you. You're going to run through here and then that's your grace. So once you've been there, you will spawn again at this place if you die. And also you can get here via fast travel on the map so you don't have to do what you did last time. So you're going to run out of here. Well, you can do it on your horse, whatever. You're going to run out of here, go left, you don't want to trigger that boss, so you've just got to be a bit careful. You're going to run down here, and then there's these small enemies you'll find when we see you on. Do one there. No, you normally get about three or four spawning. Okay, I'm trying to do a YouTube video live, and it appears... Oh, there's one there, we just actually missed one. So you've got to be a bit careful. They are You do get a 1,000 XP off these, but they can actually kill you very, very easily. As long as you know what you're doing regarding the fighting, you'll be able to kill them pretty easy. Let's see. Once you hear that sound, you've broken the guard, and you can actually do a big attack like that. you just got to be careful, because when you do that type of attack, it does reset the camera. And there you go. 1,000 runes just for killing one of those. Now, they aren't the easiest things to kill yes they've not got much health you can kill them pretty quickly but they can also kill you in two hits there's one with a ball and chain that can actually do a three hit combo and kill you in one phase of its own attack so you just got to be a bit careful but i'm sure you know by now if you die on this game you've got one chance to run back pick up your runes so you're not even going to lose anything um so this is the harder guy the chain one see look you can't even block it properly well, you can block it properly, but it still causes bleed. You don't want that to get all the way to the top. As long as you hit them first. And there you go, guys. I don't really think there's anything more to talk about on this video. So thank you, everybody, for coming along and watching the video. Um, I'm just going to run around for a bit now, but, you know, 
pretty much there's nothing else to talk about. But, you know, the only way you've got to be careful here is if there's two fairly close to each other. So you've got three here, four, all fairly close to each other. So he's actually seen me. You can sneak up on them to make it even easier. Make sure you're not near them when they do that attack because it takes pretty much all of your health out straight away. Obviously, it's going to depend, you know, what level you are to how much it hurts you because of your defences and stuff. So you can actually move around them, dodge it. Again, another thousand. So, you know, to level up on this, it's incredibly easy. You know, the best way of doing it is actually sneaking up on them. See, I can do this as Assassin's Approach. I can actually then run up to him. Whoops, I actually messed up. That's embarrassing. But, never mind. Okay, I didn't even do my specialist attack then. But, you know, I'm a noob at this game. I don't claim to be, you know, amazing at it. I don't claim to be good. But this is 1 million percent the best area to level up. What I've found as of right now. That'll kill me if it hits me. Or oh, just managed to get me flasking on time. So it just shows you, you know, they're not the easiest enemies to fight. But I'm making a bit of a balls up of that. So another thousand. I've got to fight one more. We'll actually try to sneak up on the last one. Um, is there any more anywhere? There we go. They do spawn back in, so it's not like... You run out of enemies. You can do this pretty much all day. We're going to stay off the horse. We're going to put the shield away. We're going to actually try to do the Assassin's Approach properly now. If you don't know what Assassin's Approach is, it's basically where you can run up. You've got basically silent footsteps. So you can run up on people and just do that. Attack them without them knowing you're there. Helps you massively. And you can finish them off like this. This is kind of the best way to do this. That is as easy as you can kill these guys. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. As you can see, we've already got enough to level up within, what, five minutes of trying. So, yeah, thank you, everybody, for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please leave a like. There's going to be more Elden Ring content on the channel, but unfortunately, I've got a real job. I've got a son who I look after on my own as a single widowed parent. Unfortunately, I can't play this game 24-7, but I love watching other streamers play. So, yeah, take it easy, everybody. Loving this game. Cheerio. Bye-bye.